So you just hit a heavy set, muscles burning and heart pounding. Then your friend looks at you and says, you ready for the next set? No, bro, I'm ready for a funeral. Let's talk about rest times that actually make sense for you. Everyone at the gym has different rest times. I've spoken to people who rest for upwards of seven minutes and as low as 15 seconds. Some people wait for their workout partner to get done with their set and then jump in straight after. The question is, who's doing it right? Step one, what are you trying to do in the gym? What is your goal? Are you training for strength or are you training for aesthetics? There are more reasons to train in the gym, but this channel is about bodybuilding, so I'm gonna to stick to these two. Step two, understanding rest times. If you are training for strength, you will absolutely benefit from longer rest periods. Studies show that a shorter rest period will directly negatively impact your gains and your performance. Training for strength means you are doing 85 to 100% of your one rep max. Training at this high of a range will mean you're only doing around one to six reps in one set. Training at 85 to 100% of your one rep max results in very high systemic fatigue. This takes a huge toll on your body and takes a lot of energy. So your body needs enough rest to actually recover the strength it just used. The good news is the rest time range is very simple. Three to five minutes. Rest any less than this and again, you will negatively impact your performance. Rest any more than this and you are likely just wasting your time. If you're training for aesthetics, you probably don't need five minutes of rest. Training for aesthetics means being at 70 to 85% of your one rep max. This means you're gonna get around eight to 15 reps in every single set. In this style of training, your muscles are straining and working a lot, but systemic fatigue is low. You'll feel super pumped up, but you're not gonna get that gassed out feeling like strength training gives you. Like the one where you wanna just go sit down somewhere. Because systemic fatigue is low, you are able to recover in 30 seconds to three minutes. If you are able to perf still perform in the next set while resting for less than 30 seconds, you need to increase the weight you are doing. And as a side note, the less you rest, the bigger the pump. When you work out, more blood starts flowing through your body. Let's say you're working out chest. As you're working out chest, b more blood flows through to your chest to help your chest push more weight. And when you finish the set, the blood starts to flow away. So if you have little rest time, that means you aren't giving your blood enough time to flow away. So the blood just kind of just sits there. This is what causes that pump feeling. Lower rest times is associated with lower performance. But if you include lower rest times just right into your workout reg regimen, you might get increased gains. There is a te technique called myo reps. It's very simple and it's used as a great finisher. Let's say you're doing bicep curls. First set is your is just a normal set. You, let's say you're doing 12 reps. You finish the set with around one to two reps left in the tank. This is where my rep technique begins. Rest for 15 seconds. Go again, do five more reps and then stop. Rest for another 15 seconds, five more reps. Keep doing this until you can't do two reps, or if you are really hardcore, you go straight to failure. This technique works really well because it keeps intensity very high. Intensity is one of the biggest drivers for muscle growth. And as a side note, this is, myo reps is just for aesthetics. It does not really apply to strength training at all. When systemic fatigue is high, you need to rest it off. Quick recap. If you are training for strength, rest for three to five minutes for maximum performance. If you're training for aesthetics, rest anywhere from half a minute to three minutes. So next time someone asks you if you're ready for another set after 15 seconds, tell them you're trying to optimize rest times, not trying to chase a heart attack. Train smart, rest right, grow bigger. You know what to do, get up and get after it.